hello 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 welcome back to fundu tester so this is a continuation of a test sigma tutorial and in this we are going to discuss cross browser testing so this is all about a mint of automation framework and this is why we are writing automation code because the same test we want to execute on a multiple platform or a multiple browsers and different version of a browser so today we are going to learn how we can do the same thing on a test sigma platform and before moving forward don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu tester so let's get started camera rolling action so here we have written a couple of uh, test and we have seen the many things how we can uh, write a uh script in a plain english or uh, how we can on a play no code automation platform we can write uh, we can generate a random data we can generate a dynamic data we can create a test suite test plan and apart from that we had a discussion on uh, what is a while loop for loop how we can write a while loops and for loops apart from the reuse the methods on a test sigma if you haven't watched the previous video you can go to the no uh, test sigma tutorial on a fundu testers youtube channel and you can check out the previous videos so we have created this many tests and uh, i am going to a, a test suite where we are going to create a test suite for a multi environment test so here i am going to give a name multi environment suite or suite or i am just adding a test case i have a login test i am just adding here save one test got added and now with this test suite we have one test added and now i'm going to a test plan and this is the point where magic happens so let i'm going to click on a test plan and we are going to add a cross browser testing cross browser testing test plan and here we are going to add the suite so we have created a one suite which is a multi environment suite this we have to click on and there are a add selected button or remove selected button is available we just need to click on and we have added one test basically one suite to test plan similar way we can create a multiple suites like a smoke test or functional test or a regression test and we can add all this with the test plan and here now we have to specify the machine on which machine we are going to execute test so let's say first i want to execute on a firefox so i am specifying the name firefox uh, i need to specify the lab name which is a test sigma uh, i am going to execute on a windows and a google instead of a google chrome we have to specify firefox because we wanted to execute our test on a firefox and the browser version is 104 and latest resolution so i am creating one machine apart from i am going to add two more machines so uh, one machine i have added now create a new machine here it will be a chrome i am going to execute on a chrome test sigma lab again this time i am going to specify windows windows 11 will be a os and I, this is for a chrome so i am not going to change anything for latest version it is a 105 and clicking on a create button and let's add one more machine so create and this time again we are going to execute on a firefox but we are going to specify the environment as a linux so we have pretty much three browser and three uh, machines different machines we are selecting and on a linux machine we will execute on a chrome and create so we have added three with one test we have three different environment next and if it is pass or if it is a fail or if it is aborted so we will send mail to group of a member as of now i am selecting to only me but i can specify in number of email ids like my team members or my colleague or peer testers or developers and now with that i am creating a test plan so my test plan is ready and let me going to run so it is executing apart from beneath that we have at a side panel test suit test plan so there is one more option which is a run result so if you can go to the run result whatever the previous test we have executed we can see here 
and if there are some tests on a pipeline or some tests are running so we can see all the tests all the status and everything so here we can see the, for this there is a no status maybe someone has aborted or something has happened for this the status is passed so with this test plan whatever the test are attached those who are pass and here we are currently executing our one test with on multiple environments so the it is running and once execution is done so we will get status as a passed or it can be a fail so let's wait for a status okay so execution is done now and if i am clicking on this so here we can see the our test is executed on a multiple environments we can see three passed zero failed zero aborted so basically all the tests are passing and uh, the same test if i am clicking on this so we can say it is on a montessori mac and uh, mozilla so if i click on the watch video so you can see here so basically we have to verify it is a uh, basically we can see it is on mac and the browser is a firefox so which means we have executed our test on a apple machine and a firefox browser apart from if i go to the another test similar way so a first on a firefox second should be on a chrome so windows and chrome so again we are going to check on a video we have to click here if video is not available yes so video is here and basically we here we can see uh, this set cross button close button and uh, it looks like a chrome so here it is basically showing running on a chrome chrome is being auto controlled by the test automated software so basically we can identify yes so basically we can identify this is running on a chrome and the last one is a linux and uh, linux this on we are going to the video and again we have to refresh this page and if i click see see it looks like a linux machine and we are running on a particular chrome browser so this is a chrome and it is start running so this is how pretty much we can do the cross browser testing on a no code test automation framework test sigma and we are not as you have seen we have not configured anything uh, multiple browsers or multiple drivers we have downloaded we have just uh, do created a test plan test suite and we have selected a different ma machines and desired o desired os and our work is done like this so this is how we can uh, perform a cross browser testing on a test sigma platform i hope you liked it and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundul testers thank you so much